Welcome to Kathy D. Slats, SRC for you Zoom call for March 8th, 2022. We're here on Kathy's website, kathydslat.com, and we're going to scroll down and look for this Zoom banner right here. If you would like to be part of Kathy's daily SRC for you energy clearing group, all the information's here to register. I'm going to click through to listen to the demonstration of the SRC for you software, which is here. It's on the Zoom platform where I will accept and the call will be live. So you may want to lower the volume on your speakers. Okay. So here we are. And I want to, uh, I, I, when I sent the email out last night, I decided not to send that Klaus Schaub thing. Cause I don't want us to get into necessarily that kind of focus, but to be aware that there are some people out there with great influence that do not seem to wish the best for the collective. Uh, you can, when I see them say it, and it's recorded, and I see the world leaders in attendance to listen and nod, uh, it gives you some pause, but you have to realize that we, um, we do have our own divinity that we can work together to create the heaven on earth, the various spiritual doctrines promised. I want to show you something else. We finally finished, we finally finished our, uh, I don't know, days long, um, days long session. But the other thing I listened to a little bit last night is some information on what they're teaching in the schools. And uh, if you want your hair to stand straight up, because it's particularly, we're talking kindergarten, elementary, those very, uh, those minds that we know up to the first seven years are so highly programmable. And I thought, what could be causing this? What is going on? Well, I went in. Um, I, I, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I put priority for Chi, a discarnate clearing for educational system in America. I got a 99% benefit. So if you feel like going into your SRC and putting educational system of America and doing a you know, test it. Test it for permission. Come on. Doesn't even want to go off now, well. I'll leave it for a while. And then we have today, and um, we're going and we're asking for a SRC startup scan today. Let me show you where we are. I kind of shortened it. First of all, this is our uh, sustenance balance. So we're going to get this every day. Until next Monday, I'll do a fresh one. Now, added to this, um, I put, of course, all that stuff, all amino acids, uh, all vitamins, all minerals, etc. I think I'm going to have to do a little screencast to show you. This takes a while. So, uh, it, it's uh, thought-provoking. Now, I'm having some wonderful results with individuals. And this is what we uh, resonated with having in the sustenance balancer. Check out this 2128 hertz on your own. You might be interested in that. Um, but again, release pain and trauma from the past, immune dis, uh, deficiency syndrome. And uh, I just go down each panel, all that stuff, all that water, all that food, and so on down the line. Uh, and you could be doing this for yourself and for anyone who requests it. Um, and I, that's where I'm seeing the major results that, that you can actually validate is with individuals with various things going on. Now, for today's scan, initially, here are the things blocking us at this moment in time, and we know this is all subtle, but it's information and it's valuable. This heavy metal toxicity, we're going to have to look at this in more detail because it's a significant source of stress. Uh, it's not just our vaccines, but there's our food. I don't know. We're all. Anybody have any words of wisdom? Let's just put stress related to any the dental, of course. Anybody have any words of wisdom? Um, I have been advised that it's going to be a constant, and this is coming from Cliff High, it's going to be a constant um, clearing of our body from all the contaminants, from the air, water, wherever you're getting it from. And that's why um, it's called Redmond Clay. And it's called um, activated charcoal.
we have uh, the radiation. I'll be going in later and doing, you know, some more work on this. Right now, your Nagong is extremely powerful. And uh, let's just see, we should, we should be able to uh, continue to improve this. And let's just douse it down. <laughs> and then this GMO foods, uh, again, that's been coming up a lot. And so uh, we are going to, I pull, has anybody read that first book the medical medium wrote? I, somebody gave it to me, and I never read it, and last night I pulled it out. I thought, we, we might want to look at this. I know it was a good book, but I just, at the time, for some reason, didn't really study it. But and I uh, started, but it's a big, I mean, it's a deep book. It sure really. is. It sure is, but for some reason, last night I, I reached in the bookshelf, and that's what came out. Now, you see, as a group, again, the stress at this moment in time is not high, but it's an awareness, and we probably all have to look at the toxicity in our food. And then for the longer scan, we see we want to add family members. Let's go up here. And we want it. This never a problem. Doing antidotes to the dark plan. So Nancy shared that she did read the medical medium, but she just can't share it on her on what the computer. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, no, it. Um, I just kind of looked at it and I thought, well, this, there's something to be seen in here. Now it's time. Now, okay, so we let's just go ahead and amp that up. Kathy, which one is this you just put on? Antidotes to the dark plan. And we, I'll tell you what, almost everybody every day, individual or in the group, is asking for this particular code. Just for the heck of it, and of course this will get emailed out. Let's just see if this would be one to work with a chanting or prayer beads. And again, we're doing group here, so you can test individually. Uh, about a 53 as far as group. Um, we do have a little bit of stress in reference to that. Let's see. For example, this is how I've been looking at the sustenance balancer. Uh, the problem is this takes a long time. And I, I thought, well, if I could do it for once a week, See, we, I'm going to add that one, so we, I'll add that one. Let me just put that up here. It's not a big deal to, uh, you know, improve our sustenance balancer on a regular basis. So I'll add that one. Um, let's just see if there's anything else in reference to that. Kathy, I had another term that came to me this week that I think is fitting to see if we can find a grab a boy. Um, okay, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Manufactured conflict. Oh my goodness! Let me see, let me see if can y'all see this? Yeah. Okay, I didn't lose. Okay, man, you. Because a lot of times, instead of going through that long list that you have for grab a boy, that's for scanning. It's so quick just to go in here and look, even if you know that the firm is in the list. It's, you know that list is oh not yet, but now that we've asked for it, maybe we'll see it pop up. I love that. I know, it fits so much, doesn't it? To me it does. Let's put in here uh, stress-related manufactured conflicts. We don't need a code. be nice if we had it, but if we don't, we still have our words, which are powerful. Let's look at that. Oh, 
Okay, let's just lower that. Just to comment on these codes. Yeah. If, if you keep their window open during the day, they, they constantly update it. So yes, yes. Just have a look at it and see what might apply or works for you. Yeah, I need to remember to do that. That's some of our more unusual codes that I would never have thought to look at. <laughs> Got some people in here that are pretty sophisticated with their verbiage. Are you talking about the grammar boy? Yes. So let's, let's go in here. Now this, this came up, so I'm going to honor it. Clear negative long-term adverse effects of COVID-19 vaccine. That means it's on our mind. It doesn't necessarily say there will be, but it's, it's a stress to us. It's on a lot of minds. So let's just see where we look, where we are with that. Yeah, I'll just amp it up. And then I was really happy about this one. I did this vision board at the beginning of the year. The group almost never asked for it, but we're asking for it. Get it up in there. Right down here. Oh, shoot. There we go. And, uh, I have a big cocktail. And this uh, heal us. This is all what we resonated highly with. Um, activate heal us from evil. Activate a multitude of hearts and minds, ministering to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, for the fulfillment of mankind's true capability. Golden age paradigm through divine love. Defeat all pathogens, thanks to God-given immune system. Transmute and remove projected self-limitation, vows and oaths from other lifetimes and the collective spheres of humanity's consciousness that are stored in the DNA. Holistic therapies are the norm. Heal us from hatred. And so you have this anytime you, you know, feel like. Heal us from self-destruction. Even futures. The illusion of separation now lifts. Clear dependence on government. I, I was telling you, if you really study prosperity, you'll see the more money you get from the government, the less likely it ever is going to be that you can manifest abundance. Discover the treatment scheme to heal all disease. All food worldwide is free of GMOs. And that's it. So um, I'm glad. Now, this is an interesting one, too. It, it tested high priority for being in our startup scan. It doesn't come up often, I'm, but if it comes up, which it seems to have done today, I'm going to go ahead and run it through our, um, remember the good thing, the code is what clears it on a stress level. We're talking subtle bodies. You know, Kat, there was a time. We just lost you, Ron. You, you went on mute.
Is everybody still there? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just look at this. Now you're back. Okay. Yeah, Kathy, I mentioned the fact. I can remember back in the 70s that when the Ebola was really, really uh, coming out on news all the time. Mm hmm Yeah, it's interesting. Now, we are, you know, we balanced it out, so we don't, uh, it's just information. Now, I, I got to share with you guys my crazy dream last night. You know, you see, we're asking for the quantum jumping. I had this crazy dream last night that um, I was somewhere where they had some, they had two people, a man and a woman, in like a puzzle box. And they were trapped in this puzzle box. You'd, you'd open the lid and there would be the little, you know, wooden pieces. And again, one was a woman, one was a man. And, uh, and then I went back, lifted the lid, and they were gone. And someone said, yeah, they jumped to another dimension. <laughs> so uh, I'll share that dream. I haven't really analyzed it much. But it was a weird dream, I will tell you that much. Well, it and kind of fits with what I shared today. Well, I think it is, that, isn't that it? Maybe through their divine feminine, divine masculine coalescing, they were able to shift to a different reality that didn't cause imprisonment any longer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, it, thank yeah, you. So, yeah thank it actually is really cool, truthfully. <laughs> well, yeah, I woke up. I can still, I can still see the figures, and they were, you know, just wooden. And ever there was a, a little way they fit right in. And then when I went back and opened it, they're like, how did they get out of here? Thank you. I think you're right. And um, we're going to go in a minute to the she motion because we're asking for that as well. And this, this Tonafine support is a great cocktail. And I just want to show you this, oh, this brain ownership manual <laughs> rather interesting but i'll share with you a little bit more we're working on we'll probably end up with some new cocktails from this but did anybody know that men have about two billion more neurotransmitters than women because i sure didn't no i didn't either uh now we i can't i can't begin to address this other than it, the book does say, however, we women communicate better. <laughs> but I'm just sharing the information. Now, we got a little bit of, again, we're going to balance it out, but a little bit of stress there. Uh, they say every time you learn something new, you develop more uh, neuron capability. And the connections, this is where we get kind of stressed, is all these little neurons need to communicate and depending on our stress level, they may not be communicating. Looking pretty good. And then you've got the outgoing branches of these nerve cells. And we did there are codes, so I thought, well, let's just add them. And the incoming. I've got a little stress there. Yeah, we have, that's going to work out well. Actually have that in the sustenance balancer. So it's basically, with what technology is demonstrating, we really are surrounded by all the information we need to thrive. And it's been put in place for us, but we can't always access it because of our own stress level, which creates breaks in the flow. And of course, our own stress level can keep our voltage down. You obviously have to have the energy to pull it in. 
Again, we'll just douse a few more of these in. It's going to go up to the top with a little bit of stress. While we're waiting for that, I'll show you that all we want today is the Reiki panel. Why don't we put in here? Now let's just put brain. See what we have. Three hours. Miss peptides, that's another deep subject uh, that is worth learning a little more about. Here's your transmission of these messages between the neurons. Yeah, Annie, the more I think about it, I'm pleased with that dream. Thank you. <laughs> I know it's really, it, it, I, I feel like it's playing out in so many different arenas right now. And I'm, this is going to be wild to share, but I'm also going to share about Klaus. One, oh, of things, okay, good. one of the things that I've understood is that we want to hate these different people for the roles they're playing. But if we look at this more from a, from a theater per, perspective, mm -hmm. that there are different ones that have just gone on the stage and played out this role in order to help us grow as a species and advance by, by taking this leap and coming into here in 3D. We're choosing a huge, a huge growth spurt. And there are going to be people like a Klaus that do a darn good job of playing the role they are. But through mm -hmm. them, and because of them, we're all advancing and growing in ways we couldn't have even fathomed. Yeah. It's not okay. what you yeah. much for in the way it's played out. But yeah, so just oh, looking at you. it from a different perspective. No, that that's in our spiritual writers, uh, authors are the wisdom seekers always said, bless these things. Bless it. And so thank you. But I like to be aware also, I give the example of the truck. I'm not upset with the truck, but I'm not going to step in front of it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be, we know the truck is coming and we're going to stand back. Let's just go ahead. It's a 60% benefit. So let's just do it um, to balance these gaps in the informational flow if it's necessary. Five minutes. This is probably a big deal. This this uh, recharge the body mind because um, I think that's one thing the lady who sent me the Greg Braden YouTube said is that there's all these images in perhaps ancient writings of people with no heads. And I wonder if that could be symbolic, not that heads were cut off, but that they're not using their mind. There's a, a block there. Well, somebody also shared recently that there are a lot of people walking around that have their crown chakra and their root chakras completely shut off. Wow. It's almost like they're floating in the ethers, but that's why they're not present. So that kind of fits that as well. Wow. Yeah, it sure does. Let's see if Very we want to. It, it's definitely something. And we just all, when listening to that, 
at that weakness there. We just made it maybe popped out a new neuron or charged one up. Any information we can get, everything we learn, and uh, wisdom. And, of course, with that, there's so much out there. I know I've been a little overwhelmed with it. But um, at the same time, I, I want to at least know some of what's going on. Oh, that, oh, I see. Never mind. I take that back. That was the benefit of the sustenance balance, so we didn't need it. Okay. And so then here is clean receptors. So again, just information I'm getting that seems to make a code. And then I put this code in, if anybody's interested, prevent World War III. Let's just see how we look with that. And could we do that with our body-mind if we would all come together? Mm. Oh, that's doing that. Let's if I can. I may not be able to get up here to the she motion. I'll have to put in the notes. Can't do it without now clearing these programs. But um, Now look at that 91, we will take this code in, in the sustenance balancer, prevent World War III. Any opinions from any of you on this situation? Annie, are you getting any messages on it? Well, I mean, I've done some serious work with a group of people that are doing grid work. So one of the things that's happening, too, is there's actually a battle going on between two really, 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 really dark factions, one of them being uh, led by Ball. And um, so nothing is as it seems. Nothing. Yeah. And they, they, they were doing some really, really serious stuff with some some kind of hexagon black cubes that they had placed in specific areas, one of them being in Moscow. And there, it was serious what they were up to from a demonic perspective. It was as bad as it can get, but mm -hmm. luck, luckily there are those that are awake enough to, to tap into this stuff and be able to thwart it. But yeah, so it, it's just, it's way more than anybody can imagine. And what one mm -hmm. of the gals I listen to says is, None of the people have ever been to Ukraine. None of them have been to Georgia. None of them have been to Turkey. So all these people as truthers are out there speaking about all this stuff, and they've never been right. to these areas and have no idea what the people are like. That's right. I mean, what I understand is the Ukrainians are being freed, um, and they're and they're taken away. They had unbelievable debt, and so that's being relieved. But you know, there's just so many components to understand. I, the only thing I want to say is that, you know, when I listen to this stuff, which I don't do as much as I did in years past, um, I, I will go in and say, uh, prior to the treat the situation of, and uh, so far it has not resonated for me personally, I'm going to look right now, to work with this. Let's just look. Uh, I already watched the SRC session or a uh, situation of uh, Ukraine people. Or, where did see it today? Of course, now that I said it never agreed, maybe it will. Not quite, it, it, it's been very interesting. Been very interesting, I don't quite understand it. Anyway, this is an interesting, uh, 
disconnection from the divine, maybe even some um, information that we need to pull in that we're not quite getting stress related. Remember, this is the group, and uh, we always come up with need more water. The lymph comes up quite a bit, too. Let's just look at that at this moment in time. Lymph would indicate sadness. It may not be physical. And, uh, and even that, even these things are not negatives if we learn from it. Well, see, that's rather significant. There's things we could do if anybody is blessed to have a good lymphatic massage person around. That's powerful. Uh, I do have someone anxious to tell me about some red light therapy they've been doing. Uh, let's see if we want to balance our nervous system today through there. Now let's look at yes therapy as well. No, we're good. No wonder Click is doing it. Rationalization, agony, words to ponder. I'm going to get a, a religious message today. Those who have accepted Christ in their life don't need to ask for more Christ. They need to let Christ have more of them. Uh, greater acceptance, over care for welfare of others. All that hatred. Oops, and their liver. Let's go in here and look. What Annie said is 100% true. We need to bless these people. There's no room for hatred if you're trying to, you know, change the world. Okay, there's some stress there. We'll probably do more work with that today and let you know tomorrow. And then, um, I better check out Weaver as well. See if I can actually remember to start this. Any thoughts in reference to Shen? Anybody? How about we change helpless and weak? We're set. We're good to go. Any thoughts? No, it's great. Oh, it's great. Yeah, well, thanks for the insight, too. This is good. And um, we'll go from there. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Kathy.
Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you, Kathy. Have a good day. Thank you. This concludes the SRC for You Zoom call. Thank you for participating. We look forward to seeing you again. Till then, take care and be well.